All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan. Oh boy, what a very active morning. So I don't know. There's like a lot, a to, lot to talk about. So I don't know. I, I still can't even see if I can remember everything either. So I don't know. I'll just start uh, lathering about. Uh, but I guess we could get some of the uh, simple stuff out of the way first. So I spent this morning trying to help Mitch with fixing the JMC coin. Um, Block Explorer. It seems to be working fine. Uh, it's still technically syncing, but for some reason, it was showing some of the, uh, yeah, uh, some old blocks for some strange reason. But it looks like it's working normally now, finally. But this new software uh, version of the GitHub Explorer is definitely much better. Uh, in fact, it's even uh, changed some of the stuff. So I already emailed Crack, so hopefully they'll have this thing back up and running. Because uh, they said they need the Block Explorer back up before they could do anything else. Uh, so there's that. And then, uh, I spent a lot of time last night. I wound up going to bed at 1 a.m. because I was playing this game Forager. And, uh, yeah, it was actually kind of impressive because, like, I was about to think about refunding the game. But I stuck with it a little longer past the refund two-hour time limit. And, uh, yeah, I actually got a lot more fun. So now I just, like, kind of have to keep playing it. Um, also, it's pretty impressive. Like, it's a, like, apparently that was working on the game for, like, two years, apparently. You know, he got, uh, and he got a pretty good sweetheart deal with the Humble Bundle guys. But it turns out that his dad died when he was really young. But then before he died, he told them that, like, you know, he can do whatever he wants, but he has to learn to focus and work in a team. So, and then, uh, then he tried to become a game programmer, and then he made games that nobody wanted, and then he felt like a failure. Uh, I think, I don't know if he dropped out of college or not, but, uh, he had to move back in with his mom after he ran out of money. Um... She was actually pretty cool and like, you know, and used her life savings to fund his dream project. So he, uh, you know, his parents were like super awesome. So that's pretty rare to see, I uh, see in here. So after I read that, I was like, you know, because he actually, that's the first thing it says is like how he made the game. I was like, oh, okay. Well, I'm curious because I'm a game programmer and also a filmmaker too, right? So I actually watch the how is XYZ done. Because guess what? I might have to do something like that uh, someday. And uh, I have some vitamin C uh, chewables. You know, just just to make sure I don't get too sick. Because I feel fine now, but I was in a little under the weather like last week. And uh, yeah, so that's where I read the story. I was like really surprised to hear about that. So um, I was like, wow, okay. <laughs> I guess... Um, I guess, uh, whatchamacallit, I don't refund it, you know, even though it was kind of expensive, 20 bucks, so. But I'm, I'm pretty happy with my purchase, so <laughs> I have to try to stay away from it. Um, at least until I get my work done. So, yeah. So, anyway, yeah, still, I think he's still a one-man team. Something about that other game, Stone Shard, which I think is this one. All right. I guess I did show it. All right. Specifically, I found the artist that did the, gra uh, the 2D artwork. So he charges 30 bucks an hour for this. So I'm definitely going to hire him when uh, when I need like the intermediary stuff. Because the first thing I'm going to do is just have like my own shitty box cards. Like what I use paintbrush for. Just so I can see to make sure that the code is working like it should be. All right. And then I start replacing it with the asset store graphics that are just like pre-built. And you just buy from the store for like 30 bucks. And you get a bunch of stuff. Then once I'm done with that... I feel there's a good handle. Then I actually hire this guy, and then I actually start flushing up my game. And then the step after that is, you know, if the game succeeds and blows up, then, you know, I got a decent amount of cash. Yeah, I start getting, like, serious, professional, like, hardcore 2D stuff and no more pixelated art. Although I like the pixel art, and people might get kind of mad that I'm changing the art style. But, I mean, ultimately, like, you know, I was... You know, I, 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 want, I want a kind of realistic looking thing. Um, well, actually, let's take a look at it real quick. Um, oh, they're still streaming. Well, it's not that pixelated. Can I look? Yeah. And it still looks pretty well detailed, well drawn. I mean, I wouldn't even really call... I mean, some of the, the movable sprites are kind of pixelated-ish, but... This terrain's all right, and then from here it'll go on to like actual like pretty well drawn like 
basically, I'm going to try to look for like a triple A or double A. Is there even such a thing as double A uh, professional graphics look? And then, uh, yeah, it'll be uh, it'll be really good. Uh, so, yeah, anyway, I don't know. There's like so much stuff. And then, I don't know, there's like a lot of things I need to think about. Um, yeah. So, anyway, well, maybe I'll remember uh, as we go on. If not, uh, you know, we'll uh, just save it for tomorrow. Because right now there's just so much to really consider. Because now, again, I have to, I mean, yes, I'm learning. Because I did my, I started programming uh, the course again yesterday. You know, I spent like an hour trying to like not burn myself out. But it wasn't actually that bad. Um, it was actually kind of easy. Because like I thought, yeah, wow, no wonder it's so easy. Because basically you just create a couple of the objects and then you just dump in the unity and then you just copy and paste it and then you can readjust the size and everything and then move the position around then everything is already flagged with a tag called or a component called mesh collider so you can't go through the building and then presto it's like oh it's just like a real it's like a regular game it's like oh it's so cool looking um actually you know what let me fire up unity right now and show you um Let's see. I'm gonna have to go on the stream capture though. Photon 3D Battle Royale. All right, there we go. All right, now um, video game capture. I think streaming game from BlueStacks. So we're not doing that. We want Unity. Um, Unity.exe null. Okay, so that's what we want. All right, just holding. There's a new version of, oh great, um, shit, I don't want to hit the skip new version because I just want to show you what I'm doing here. Come on. Um, here we go. Hopefully this will work. All right. Is it working? Oh, wait, it should, it is because I have to show it. It's not showing anything. Ah, oh, God, this is so annoying. Uh, capture a specific window. Capture background, capture any full screen application. Nope. I don't know why it's not working. Let me see, what happens if I go here? Uh, okay, I think I might see what might be wrong here. All right, yeah, there you go. Now now we see what the problem is. Now this thing is really annoying. Uh, transform, fit to screen. Okay, I want stretch to screen, okay. Filter, transform, stretch to screen. Oh, that's really bad. Oh, man, this is really messed up. It's not showing the whole thing. That's why you can't see it. Oh, man, because I really wanted to show you what I'm, like, fucking working on. Plus, if I'm doing, like, a developer thing, I want to make sure this thing's actually working. Hmm. That's weird. Why is it doing that? All right. There's something definitely wrong with the, uh... Let's see, there's Galaxy of Heroes, I see. I mean, this should be working, but this thing was not designed to be streamed either, so that, that's kind of like the problem, too. Force, force scaling, maybe? Nope, that totally f screwed everything up. Uh, hook rate, transparency, capture. Okay. All right, well, if I can't get this to work, then, you know, I'm just going to... Yeah. All right. Let me see. Let's go to projects. Um, scenes game. Let's see. What can, what can you see here? Oh, you only see the menu part. You don't actually see the stupid thing. All right. Well, I can't get this to work, so uh, that's unfortunate. Shoot. Now I have to update uh, Unity um, about Unity. Um, Special thanks for things. Yeah, great. That's why I didn't want to hit the skip update version. Now, now, now I've got like a problem. All right. So anyway, um, I forgot I was gonna say it, but basically I just want to show you like you know the the game world or whatever. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. So, hmm. 
I guess I would actually have to compile the game or build it and then stream the thing that I build and then just show you around. Um, so uh, that, that, that's going to be pretty irritating. <laughs> All right, so anyway, uh, Bitcoin searches worldwide is now, let's see, uh, for this week has finally been released, and it's up to 13 now. So it's actually starting to go up, so this is pretty good. If we remember from the uh, United States, it usually is just not really doing anything. But it's also happened to be going up now, and now it's up to 9. All right, so that's very good. All right, so everyone's interest in cryptocurrency is now starting to rise, which means uh, normie interest is going up, and that's what we want. Um, where are we at? 10 and 11 minutes. So Bitcoin dominance is at 62.5%. Oh, wow. This thing actually went down a lot. Dominance. That's very good. We want the altcoins to skyrocket. 24-hour volume is a whopping $161 billion, So this is probably close to all-time record highs. Bitcoin itself is at 10290 Very nice. Up 2.81%. So uh, we're going on our merry little way. Ethereum and XRP are skyrocketing. It's very good. Uh, Litecoin, eh, it's up at an all right amount. So it's up to 78.73, 4 4.7%. So overall, it's a pretty good day. Um, Dogcoin is up to 383 million market cap. So yeah, so everybody's playing catch up now and they're catching up in the uh, everybody goes up, you know, kind of thing. So everyone's going up. It's just a matter of, you know, who's going up more. And that's always a good sign. It's basically as we could see, right, from the 161 billion. 24 hour value yeah it's uh everyone just wants cryptocurrency steam is up substantially up to 23.21 cents set up 8.55 percent it's very nice maybe i should actually start uh getting uh uh what should i call it start getting more steam then at this point uh gbtc trust is up uh pretty much a silver amount of bitcoin so at least it's doing what it's supposed to for once so that's good uh, JMC coins at three to four. Uh, now that the, the block explorer is apparently fixed, uh, we should have this thing back up uh, and running, all right? Uh, so unless Crex tells us they need something else. Uh, but when I contacted them, they only just mentioned the explorer. So uh, hopefully that's all that they need. Uh, 404 coin continues to, you know, uh, I guess still recover. Um, but at least some of the money did find its way into 404 and two by two. Uh, it actually went as high as 12 right uh apparently close to 13 even right no that was a couple of days ago so yeah when as high as 12 a lot of there was actually some pretty big buy orders some dumping orders here uh and then here you can see 12 being bought out like crazy all 11 got bought out so like you know around 11 12 million 404 coins it's still not enough but you know uh you know uh, things are still recovering so hopeful and then it looks like the coronavirus is actually starting to get contained now because the infection rate uh, as a percentage has been decreasing a lot. And still, a lot of it is still contained and confined to China, mostly. So, uh, so far, so yeah, so we should be pretty good. Um, also, I don't know what the temperature is, but, you know, uh, warmer weather does help a lot. Actually, it's critical in uh, helping, you know, stop the spread of the virus. So with spring a month and a half away, we, it should be fine. Uh, so yeah, so 404, uh, should do pretty well. Um, will it go up to 17 or even 18? Uh, I guess we'll have to see. Uh, two by two coins also slowing down a bit at 66 to 68. Um, if I had to guess, everyone's dumping some of the exotic coins to buy up all these coins. But eventually the money from here will find its way down here. So, uh, let's hope that's the case. Uh, Kapow coin starting at slightly stronger. It's now at 43 to 21 Satoshis of a dog coin, up to 5,100 Satoshis of a dog coin. But of course, as you can see, the trade volume is practically non-existent. But nonetheless, this coin is still, uh, you know, uh, surviving. All right, so let's just take a look at today's things. Uh, Bitcoin price stores, Jerome Powell confers crypto's threat to the U.S. dollar. Um, hmm. It's kind of weird, but he is also a uh, very anti-Bitcoin boomer, so that's why we don't like him. So we'll still we'll read that. Uh, search volume highest levels. Trump wants the Secret Service to tackle the Bitcoin problem. Uh, good luck with that. Uh, zombie crypto coins beat Bitcoin during this year's resurgence. Satoshi not gonna. Uh, large city. 
Two lifelong friends turned a small investment to the largest crypto in North America. Now they're warring over. Oh, so they used to be friends. Yeah, that's kind of the reason why, like, you know, when I do my thing, like, there, it's going to be a dictatorship. Like, right? Donald Trump does the same thing with his uh, businesses. It's a dictatorship, right? He's the, he's the guy in charge, and that, that's it, right? And then he has his kids, right? They have their own little empires, but, you know, when Trump has to retire or he dies or whatever, you know, he'll obviously divvy it up with his kids. So, uh, you know, it'll be the same with me. Uh, Ciao, Fred, Rudy. At least, at the very least, that's how I'm going to run my empire, right? My financial, like my real estate empire, my probably entertainment business. I, right? I'll include, and that'll include the video game stuff and the video and the filmmaking stuff. Uh, Ciao, Fred, A major crypto scandal, Bitcoin's moving, and if history repeats, may start a correction for you. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so this is all bullshit. So before we read this, I want to see if uh, Daily Holo has the same article. Uh, North Korea's crypto mine explodes tenfold the variation. <laughs> well, that's always going to get some good clicks, so we'll read that. Anything that North Korea does, I always want to read because it's hilarious. Kim Jong-un has, you know, well, actually, that's not funny, but uh, he actually killed his own uncle because he slouched during Kim Jong-un's uh, speech, and then he executed him with an anti-aircraft cannon. So like he was really uh, he was really cruel about it, but you know that's how the North Koreans roll, man. You know they, they still think it's like World War Two, you know. Uh, blah 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 scam. We don't care about scam. Ripple scores new remittance part of largest state-owned bank in Egypt joining RippleNet. Oh wow, actually it was Ripple Ripple went up a lot today, didn't it? Seven point eleven percent. Yeah. So Ripple's uh, hard work. Uh, of getting their fundamentals right and getting more people to use their shit is really working pretty well so you know good for ripple there you know it's good for crypto in general especially with banks right the more banks that use crypto the, the harder it is for jp morgan and all those stupid big bank uh evil globalist assholes can like you know uh, fuck with the system right because because at first they were trying to take out crypto and it didn't work and, th and then now trump as we see here Actually, well, we saw it in the headlines somewhere over here. Now, Trump realizes he thinks Bitcoin's stupid, yet he's going to order the Secret Service to now go after Bitcoin stuff. So not so stupid, is it? You know, This uh, cryptocurrency collab now holds... Da, 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 da. Bitcoin faces off against Orwell and Dystopia Garden Surveillance. No cash in digital currency accounts. Uh, yeah, well, maybe next time uh, side with us conservatives when we're getting banned and censored off the internet. Now Bernie Sanders supporters are apparently getting removed from Twitter and the internet too, right? These were the same stupid fucking assholes that were calling for our banning. So how you like them apples? So maybe next time don't fucking censor people. And in fact, that's actually going to probably be your, the first thing that my quest text is going to, because I'm going to voice over obviously my character, right? Because right? that's, because obviously now I have to port my TV show into a video game format. Um, so yeah, and then we're definitely gonna have censorship. That's gonna be part of like basically when I originally conceived of my show, it was during like the early 2010s. So I was still reading Breitbart and all that stuff. This was way before Trump. So my thing was gonna be about that. But now that things are different because of the whole censorship and pro-Trump and fake conservatives and you know lack of empathy on both the conservative, Republican, and Christian side and all that stuff. Now that's gonna come into play. And of course, I have to, hmm, excuse me, intelligently figure out how to also incorporate a lot of the left wing, you know, bullshit too. That like, you know, the bad stuff they do, right? Without getting banned on the internet. So that that's actually the going to be the challenge. I think I have a pretty good handle. Because one thing I also want to be careful of is being too overly political, right? Because if you're going to have something like that, you got, it has to be more uh, subdued. Otherwise, uh, people are just you know then i run into the problem like uh, james o'keefe uh said in that nyu speech right with the uh, pretty good looking republican president all right the problem is uh you know it, it was still a woman right where, where are all the men right <laughs> it's like you know what's going on here but um and she totally wanted to sleep with james o'keefe i could easily tell just by the way a woman looks at a man yeah, she definitely wants it, and she doesn't even give a shit, right? That, that was the other thing too, because obviously James O'Keefe is, you know, you know, big, 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 uh, big status, big money, big whatever thing. 
And uh, he said, you know, conserv liberals focus on making a good movie. Conservatives focus on making a good conservative film, right? You know, so what conservatives need to learn is to just make a good film. And, and that's the direction I want to take my game, all right? I mean, sure, it'll obviously be right-leaning, but, you know, it won't be so crazy, all right? Kind of like what it was in my first movie, which is, uh, which is technically what I'm still proud of, but I still don't show the world because it's like I'm ashamed of my kid kind of thing. So it's like, you know what, son, you know, you're still my son, but I don't want you going out there. So, you know, you're going to be causing too much trouble. So, you know, here, you know, just, just, just sleep, uh, just, just rest here and uh, YouTube and, uh, you know, Amazon and stuff. So, uh, crypto hedges are short XRP. Well, if you're, if they're, if they're short XRP, then, well, I'm glad those idiots are getting their asses handed to them. Do crypto exchange shutting down after a hack Bitcoin? Crypto exchange Altsbit is shutting down this May uh, after getting hacked. I never even heard of these people. Uh, so not surprisingly, they probably had shit security. All right, let's take a look at this. Um, Jerome Powell confers crypto threat to the US dollar. So does that finally mean this dumbass is going to go, we need America coin? The Bitcoin price of Bitcoin jumped to Tuesday after Jerome Powell stressed that the Fed is investing a significant amount into digital currency developments. Holy shit, we're making America coin. Adding fuel to the fire. Why isn't this on daily holdle? In fact, it should be at the top of this thing. Uh, all right. Adding fuel to the fire policy acknowledge how quickly crypto could become a systemic risk to the American dollar. Yeah, that's what we've been telling you, dumbass. China's Belt and Road Initiative is expected to roll out a digital currency very soon, and the Fed chair was, that's a typo, was clear that the United States was doing its best to keep pace. So he was bullshitting uh, this whole time. Good, good. And otherwise, dull testimony from Jerome Paul got very interesting for Bitcoin as Bitcoin spiked 4% in 10, uh, to 10, right. Cryptocurrency market soared after Congressman Bill Foster raised concerns about the need to keep pace with China coin, which Paul was sad that the Fed well, has a lot of projects underway. Uh, okay. Uh... Okay, Bitcoin, okay. Uh, as well as that, China's a tremendous ambition. To, uh, Bill Foster also said Beijing's ambition center on the risk posed to the US dollar status as a global reserve currency. Yeah, because it's old and outdated. And it doesn't help that you cut, we talk, where it's technically fiat, so we can print as much of this shit as we want. Though, of course, uh, we're actually pretty intelligent about uh, controlling the supply of how many US dollars are floating around the, uh, the world right now, so. Bitcoin went vertical midday after Jerome Powell and the KFA was making a serious effort to blow up. Bitcoin investors took this as a positive development. Bitcoin USD store Powell's acknowledgement that the Fed would keep the fire lit regarding blockchain development. Despite the impressive response from crypto market, the Fed chair was still guard about the implementation of a digital dollar, dollar due to privacy concerns. The idea of a ledger where you record everyone's payment isn't particularly attractive in the U.S. It's not a problem in China. <laughs> yeah, because in China, we don't give a shit about, us Chinese don't give a shit about privacy concerns. Uh, well, except myself. But then, of course, we tend to be pretty heavy-handed when it comes to exacting justice and right-wing order. So uh, that's that's when we start, you know, removing all the civil rights, which is why America will always be the number one country and China will be number two. Unless, of course, America falls so much morally that God has to use China instead as a backup plan. So, uh, and I've said this before in my political videos, but it might have been, uh, it probably got deleted. So now, now I mention it now. Actually, you know, I'm probably going to put that into the quest text, too, you know, because like because really I just wanted to teach people my worldview and I can only do that with a TV show because it's just so complex. Um, so Fed chair dollar could say face systemic risk with digital currency. Despite this, Paul was clear that the theoretical implementation of Facebook's Libra has been a game changer as an institution now understands. The importance of making quick progress in the area. Good. So he's so he's finally gone through the Bitcoin's a stupid idea to you know what this actually looks like a pretty solid idea. We better fucking do it ourselves, or we're gonna get screwed in the ass without our consent. It's quite obvious why Bitcoin. All right. So now we have confirmation that yes, Bitcoin's probably gonna hit one million dollars. Uh, remember, bull peak when it's irrational. Uh, my uh, Twitter video from last year is uh, five hundred thousand. But I think a million is probably better. 
But I probably will sell around 500k to 7. I'll probably definitely sell around 750k. Like I'm gonna just start dumping at that point, and I'm gonna be and then all my all my crypto profits are gonna be 100% towards just converting into fiat at that point, right? And of course, you know, I still grow the stack because what's gonna happen is, you know, you still have to make sure. Like, let's say you have like you know, uh, one billion 404 coins, right? You know, in a couple years or whatever. You don't want to sell off the whole thing, though you can. I personally don't like doing that, even though that's probably the smarter thing to do because I don't I don't like the idea of just not having an asset. You always want your assets there, right? Even if the value of the asset goes down, it's still producing you cash flow all the time. In this case, literally every like what's the block time again? 90 seconds. You're making you're making money every 90 seconds. Like, you know, you gotta be stupid to throw that away, right? You know, because because the idea is you need to go back when the thing crashes and you'll probably succeed. And I know one of you, a couple of you are going to be dumb enough to do it or risk take risk taking enough to do it, which is technically fine. But I don't want to do that because I'm 37. I don't have well, technically I have room for error, but you know, I'm getting older. You know, I'd rather just take the safe route. I mean, how much more money do you want? You know, you make five million dollars, you make ten million dollars. Now you want like. <laughs> you you now you want another three million dollars by throwing away your asset and now you're taking way too much risk for the reward you know besides you know we're gonna just probably start doing shorts on ledger x anyway so you know that's that's how you're gonna that's how you're gonna you know ride the market down right which mean which mean now that i read this that means i have to actually get my ledger x account in order i didn't even create one yet Despite this, Paul is clear that oh, I read that. It's pretty obvious why Bitcoin would rally so aggressive in this instance, as the most powerful man of flies acknowledge the speed and scale at which digital currency could disrupt the dollar. It already has. This is a definite change of tone from their historical opinion on the issue. Uh, China's Mount Rally is a way to utilize crypto. An additional positive from this exchange is a stark reminder that crypto is about to become mainstream tech for the world's second largest economy. China, actually, uh, you know what? Let's tweet this out. Oh, yeah. Did I mention that Juicy Smollier, uh, Justy Small, got indicted in Chicago yesterday for doing the hate hoax? I thought that thing was over, but apparently he's now facing the music, which is good. He shouldn't be, uh, he shouldn't be uh, hate hoaxing. And then uh, for the first time in a long time, Mike Cernovich actually retweeted it. It was uh, actually pretty uh, surprising. I didn't even think he still even gave a shit <laughs> about what I was up to, but that was a pretty nice touch. Um, what was I, I was going, oh yeah, um, I lost my thought, I lost my train of thought, I want to definitely link this article, but I wanted to say something, uh, Jerome Powell prefers threat to US dollar, let's see, I lost my thought completely. Uh, if I use the blockchain, we're a second technology. God damn it! What additional projects are a crisp mainstream technology? Hmm. Uh, now I now I forgot. Is there more to this article? Charles the plan to use blockchain. Okay. Bitcoin is a stupid idea. Uh, uh is a dead. Uh, that, that's just stupid. Uh. USA coin is now going to become a thing to compete against China coin. The cryptocurrency Bitcoin Super Bowl market is here. Enjoy. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see, yeah, USC coin, I would come at thing that could be against China coin. Uh, the head of the Federal Reserve does 180 on Bitcoin blockchain. There, there we go. Actually, has he said anything else? Uh, stunner, record breaking turnout incumbent. Okay. Wow. All right. Well, that's good. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna read I'm gonna read his thing off stream. We're already probably running over time, aren't we? Let's see. Thirty minutes. Yeah. 
Uh, Paul has often been quite open about Bitcoin in the past. Even though it might be a store of value like gold, today he further demonstrated the high-level intellectual investment that the Fed is making into crypto. Uh, it's probably good news that Bitcoin's world's that the world's largest central bank is better understand blockchain tech. Uh, okay, Bitcoin has been on a tremendous run since December. It looks to have firmly retaken. Blah 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 blah. All right, so this is it, guys. Uh, I'm actually pretty pot because you know what this also means. This also means that people are gonna be like, people in America, especially, they're gonna be like, you know what, we do need regulations and framework. Let's let's have Hester actually has Hester Pierce Twitter. Does she have a? She should have a Twitter somewhere. Hester Pierce. Uh, let's see. Um, GT Harvard Draft. She, she should have something around here for. Oh man, she's really pro cryptocurrency. I was kind of hoping she would actually have something about the Federal Reserve thing here. Um, she runs the SEC, so yeah, it's not. Uh, well, I don't know. Let's see who. This is why I don't like the thing. Uh, thanks to Kurt Aga, Guan Call, CFT, I guess your departure makes me a departure. Makes me a single mom. <laughs> I'm looking forward to. Okay, July 16, 2019. Yeah. All right, so she, yeah, so this guy, so you are this Juan Carlo guy. We already mentioned him before in Daily Hold on many videos and articles. Very super uh, pro cryptocurrency, so very nice. This thing, this probably is, thing's a little old, but I'll retweet it. All right. Uh, so very good, very good. We have we have the fundamentals in place now. Cryptocurrency is going to the moon. That means don't sell anything for fiat, which sucks because I really could use the money. But if I sell Litecoin now, I get seventy eight dollars and seventy three cents a piece. But when this thing hits three hundred bucks, you know, yeah, I'm I'm gonna have to wait. <laughs> I'm gonna have to wait. Oh, jeez. All right. Anyway, North Korea's crypto mine explodes tenfold to evade international sanctions. All right, let's end it on a hilarious note. Oh man, this just keeps getting better. We're just gonna make so much money now. No wonder the no wonder the search interest is starting to skyrocket. This is good. This is good. You know how important the institution of the Federal Reserve is? They are the bank in finance. Everything in the world revolves around the Federal Reserve. That's why there's so much media coverage of such a mundane institution, right? Because you don't even think about it. But every time you use money, that's the US Federal Reserve right there. All right, whether it's digital, when you buy shit on Amazon like I do, or you know you're just out there get, put, buying lunch when you're at work during lunch hour, that's all Federal Reserve. Okay. Oh my God. Uh, I have. Uh, I'm not okay. The first thing I gotta do is convert all my dog coin into like Steam or something. All right. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now I understand what's going on. Okay, this is very good. So, so that means these guys better get up there pretty soon then. So actually, I should expect a pretty big uh, boost in cash in here eventually. Well, actually, I don't know. How, well, 808 coin went up a lot and then it went down, but the overall that market cap value of it kept going up. So, uh, coin gecko 404 coin. What's the what's the market cap of 404 coin on coin gecko? Um, 1416. So it's actually going up in rank. Uh, market cap forty seven thousand six twenty nine. So it's supposed to be going up. Uh, seven day. Let's see price. I want market cap. Uh, let's set this to. All right. So its peak was seventy one. So down up. Okay. So um, so it looks like it should be going up then. Okay. All right, let's see what happens. But yeah, this thing should definitely be going up because right? a rising tide flow, uh, raises all boats. So that probably means compound coin will be uh, will be able to weather the storm and go back up too. So this is fantastic. This is the perfect time for me to get into uh, video game programming and then implement cryptocurrency. Very good, very good. North Korea is currently expanding its uh, Bitcoin mining operation to generate revenue and avoid trade sanctions, producing a tenfold increase over the past 90 days. According to a Intel company, North Korea uses theory tactics to generate revenue via the internet, exploit crypto and blockchain tech, online banking crimes, and low-level information tech breaches. <laughs> oh man, that, that's hilarious! North Korea is suspected of hacking South Korean crypto exchanges as well as again in crypto jacking, cryptocurrency mining. The report concludes that North Korea has targeted three popular cryptos, Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Monero. Especially Monero, because this thing's anonymous. 
Uh, okay, blah, 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 RSS fit. Uh, there's a tenfold increase in Monero mining. We are unable to determine the hash rate because all the activity is proxy through one IP address, which we believe hosts at least several unknown machines behind it. Researchers suggest that North Korea, so even with all the world censorship, they still can't censor North Korea. I, I find that pretty interesting. The researchers, researchers suggest that North Korea's strategies may serve as a playbook for other countries in financial isolation. They are seeking to circumvent U.S. sanctions by using the internet, such as Venezuela, Iran, or Syria. Oh, yeah, I forget we have trade sanctions on Syria, which is kind of insane to me. Uh, but, you know, the evil globalists, uh, one country in particular, hates Syria because, you know, they're run by evil people. Uh, sat, uh, Satan is her daddy, as Jesse Lee Peterson would say. Um, and, yeah, uh, they also almost shot, all, they also almost indiscriminately got a passenger airplane uh, shot down when they were d using it as a human shield to strafe, like, a Syrian airbase or something. It was very evil shit. Well, I mean, luckily nobody died, obviously, but... It's just fucking evil, you know. I really do hope that once the true right and the Nick Fuentes Groper uprising, you know, uh, does its thing, we'll, um, uh, what you call it, you know, we'll put a stop to all this uh, evil stuff. So, uh, yeah. So anyway, if you like what you saw, Red or Bird, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash the Lemon Factor BTC. But uh, make sure you smash that subscribe on the right hand side of this page, and then uh, yeah, because uh, this is it. Uh, I've waited a few years now for this moment, and uh, it's finally happening. And now I get to see the total formation of a cryptocurrency bubble after having all the data I need during the bear market portion of it to really see how this thing is going to form, and that's going to be like pretty incredible and very knowledgeable. So. Uh, so yeah, all I have to say is get ready, folks. This is it. Um, the fundamentals are now too strong to ignore. We're going to make a lot of money, provided we are patient. And um, yeah, well, I guess I won't be selling my uh, crypto for a while. So uh, we're going to have to set this to a uh, thumbnail. And I've got a lot of stuff to do because you know now it's just everything's just happening at once. So enjoy the rest of your day or night. Um, Remember, keep buying, keep holding, keep mining. Don't sell for fiat unless you absolutely have to. And then, uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Uh, so with that being said, uh, that should mean 404, or at least the coin. Right now, the market cap on 404 is still suppressed. So uh, we should see a nice little explosion at some point, hopefully. All right, so thanks for watching. See you all in tomorrow's video. And, uh, yeah, the rest of your day or night. Thanks. Judson Chan, JMC Coin. 404 coin so jerome powell uh he finally sh threw away his boomer shackles on bitcoin this is finally it and it's only gonna be a matter of time before donald trump has to hmm, excuse me ha has to um uh cave in and realize you know bitcoin's a real thing i should start doing it and then uh yeah this is it this is god's will Ah, uh, and of course, the North Koreans are all, uh, already know they're they're already on top of it too. So I mean, we can't we can't let the North Koreans beat us on cryptocurrency after all.